Mind you, everybody else is seeing us. Nobody is saying, oh no, he got a girlfriend. Nothing. We crunk lit in it, bitch. Yeah. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I'm Deja. <laughs> Today is story time. Y'all, I can't really be too loud and too popping or whatever because my kid is in there asleep. I'm gonna try not to yell, but I feel like if it's necessary, I'm gonna yell. I'm trying to get this video out for you guys. I had a long day today. I normally like pre-record because I have like a set schedule, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday I upload. And I told y'all this week is a week of story time. So if you haven't seen the two previous videos, make sure you go watch them. They are story times. This video will make a lot of sense to you guys because I know by the title y'all probably like who the hell is chip because everybody wants to know backstories 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 about this character named chip in my life his name is not actually chip it's just chip skylark from fairly odd parents that was a reference i used because he was my chip calling him chip on the channel okay that's chip um y'all will hear more story time from when we first met until <laughs> until, <laughs> until whatever you know because who said that it ended? Who said that it didn't? Well, may never now. But y'all gonna find out. Just if you're here for the stories and keep up, you'll find out. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the story on how I first came across Chip. Okay, so sit back, relax, grab your snacks, your wine, clean your house, get ready for school. I don't know what y'all doing with y'all lives. Let me know in the comments below what you're doing while you're watching this video. This is just the story on how I met Chip. Okay, boom. This was some years ago. Um, my friend had flown in to Vegas. We're getting ready ready for our day, trying to figure out what we're doing, what plans we're having, and this and all that. Should I say her name? Yeah, because she plays a big part in this whole story too. So let's give her a name. We're gonna call her Tammy. Tammy is gonna be a character that's involved in some of these stories, okay? So we got Chip and Tammy. Chip and Tammy know each other. They are friends. Tammy is our mutual. The thing about Tammy, which I really, really, really didn't like, whoever she's on the phone with talking to, she will always involve me into the conversation. She just always put me in the camera. So I would converse with these men. So y'all, my last story time, <laughs> one of my little subscribers commented like, girl, it's conversing, not conversating. So just for you, cause she said she was an English teacher. Are you happy? Get A plus? <laughs> she would have me converse with a lot of men and <laughs> like, she would just always throw me on the camera. So that's just a little backstory about that because then it will all make sense uh, why it wasn't really weird. Chip ends up calling Tammy, right? I'm pretty sure he's seen based off of her Instagram, like, oh, she's flying, um, what state she in, blah, blah, blah. Chip and some of his friends were coming to Vegas also. Chip had a girlfriend. Right, he's been having this girlfriend for years. Like they were together for a long time. At this moment of the day, <laughs> I didn't know he had a girlfriend. But you know who didn't know he had a girlfriend? Tammy. Tammy knew because Tammy has hung out with this girl. Tammy is damn near friends with this girl, if we being honest. That's their little secret, <laughs> okay? I didn't know. I don't know Chip, I don't know the girlfriend, I don't know none of his friends that are coming with him to Vegas. Any other time you put me on a call with a man's, it will be like a, oh, what's up? Like, hey, friend, what you doing? This friend, Chip, I've never heard about him. I've never seen him. She's never talked about him. So I'm pretty sure she ain't never talked about me to him either, right? So like I said, she hands me the phone. This point in time, I'm not sure who's in the car with him. Um, like I said, they were driving to Vegas, him and his friends. We're on FaceTime. And when I tell y'all, it's not awkward. Like. Any other time I'm on the call with one of her friends, it's more of like a, oh, what's up, friend? Da -da -da, yeah, da -da 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 -da. Boom, back to her. Quick five, ten minute conversation. Him, y'all, we was on the phone for like an hour. That man, my friend. <laughs> like, you would think that that was like one of my best friends. How we're sitting here talking on the phone and it was like, I've known this man forever. It was like the most easiest, comfortable conversation I've ever had. And we was just on the phone, just just talking about everything. What? I don't even remember, but it was just like to a point that I said to him, I'm gonna give you the phone back to your friend because we just sitting here talking like we best friends. And he says, that's how you know the vibe is genuine and you're a genuine person. He was like, I love that though. Right? That's what he said and I remember because like I said, that was my man. Let me be quiet. <laughs> I'm on the phone with this man. I I'm liking what I see on this FaceTime call, we being honest. Like, this man is pretty cute, pretty fine, pretty 
sexy, whatever. I hand the phone back to Tammy and they're having their little conversation. I overhear that he was like, we're gonna be going to this bar at our hotel. You should slide through, right? So I'm gonna just give y'all like the first two times I've hung out with him, which was here in Vegas. Reason behind in the last story, his girlfriend was like, oh, are you Deja from Vegas? Because this is where me and him had met, right? Me and Tammy ended up going out. Like we met up with some of our other friends and was like getting drinks with them and went here and went there. And she was like, oh, like, did you wanna go hang out with Chip? Tammy, I know he's your type. Like you want to go, so I'm like, so I'm like, sure. Like let's go see what it's about. My job is COVID. This is when they were enforcing the mask, like the very beginning stages of the pandemic. Okay, me and Tammy walk into like this bar restaurant type of thing. They had like their own little like section, and when I say they, it was him, two other dudes, his girlfriend, and the girlfriend's friend who was actually messing with one of his friends. Okay, cool. So, me and Tammy walked up to this bar. Like I said, I don't know who was in the car with him when me and him were on the phone. If he felt that comfortable enough to converse with me, <laughs> to converse with me while his girlfriend was in the car, I really don't know. And if he did, he very bold because now you being a little too friendly and doing a little kiki ha ha too much. Give the phone back to your actual friend. Why you don't even know this girl? So I don't know if the girlfriend was in the car, but we pull up looking fly, okay? I was yo at the ponytail 30 inch down like that i had my mask on but the lashes was lashing eyebrows was eyebrowing like i was looking really cute and i remember this because let me just tell the story so pull up to the bar he comes up to us he like meets us halfway before we get to the little section we start walking towards the section one of the women there stood up which ended up being his girlfriend. He gets up, like she meets us behind him. She like, you know, greets Tammy or whatever because they're like friends, cordial, whatever you want to call it. And I was like, she seemed a little like in a rush. Like she kind of was like, uh. I don't really know what to like pinpoint the vibe, but it wasn't really giving a good vibe. <laughs> it was kind of like a, she was irritated and ready to leave. I even asked her. I was like, oh, you're going to the bathroom? She really didn't talk to me. <laughs> We being honest, she didn't really say too much to me. And then she like leaves, right? Rona running around, nobody know what this is. I, I had on my mask still and I'm like talking to him cause he's like sitting right here next to me. We all just vibe and chit chatting. Tammy ass never told me this man had a girlfriend, that that's his girlfriend. She knew this, D -n -n nothing, right? I'm there thinking everybody friends, everybody cool. The only thing I told Tammy after we had gotten off the phone was, oh, he's really cute. Like, that's all I said. I was like, well, who is he? Why I ain't never knew about this friend? He cute. Chip orders around the shop. This is when I took my mask off. Took my mask off, you know, the smile be smiling. I be cheesing. And I'm sitting in this man's face and he cuter in person. <laughs> he cuter in person. So like, I'm just cheesing. This man gonna tell me, you have the most prettiest smile I've ever seen. I can look at you smile all day. Don't tell me that, chill. Don't tell me that. Cause now, I'm taking it as you flirt with me. And I'm already a little lit. Normally I just be flirting for fun, but I'm flirting on, on trying to do something because you fun. So like, we can flirt. Let's do it. I'm excited. He's saying all this to me. And I'm like, hold on baby. <laughs> hold on baby, cause now you talking my language and I like it. Me and him are talking like this cause he's sitting kind of like across from me. So I'm sitting here talking like this. His girlfriend's friend, I don't know her name and she really don't matter cause this is the only time I've ever, ever seen this girl. She's sitting over here talking to Tammy, right? The drinks come, I'm over here handing the shot to Tammy, handing the shot to the other girl. I turned towards this other girl. She was like, Deja? And I was like, Y'all, okay, look, you know, I've been doing this whole YouTube shit for a long time. I've been doing this for so long, I forget that people actually might watch me. Um, so she was like, oh my God, Deja, like, I knew that was you. Cause like I said, I pulled up, I had the mask on. She was like, I knew that was you. She was like, I'm a really big supporter. Like I've been watching you from day one. So I'm over here like, oh, like, hey, no, no. The friend didn't inform me that that was his girlfriend either. So now we even litter because I got like one of my supporters here. Like we lit, like you know me, I know you. <laughs> Let's get active. The vibe is getting vibey. We're talking, we're flirting. Like I said, whole time the girlfriend is gone. Like she is gone, y'all. And I guess she had went up to their room. The bar is closing. It's time for everybody to leave. Me and Tammy like, okay, well, what we about to do? Like, you want to go back home? I don't live too far from the strip. Like, let's go. Chip and his friends were like, no, y'all come up to the room. Like, you know, we can still get lit. We can go get some bottles. Like, come on. So I'm like, okay, cool. Chip leaves first, right? He leaves first. I guess he went to go check on his girlfriend. The friend is now with her boyfriend. Like, we're all just 
just walking around the casino. I overhear the friend on the phone, I guess with Chip's girlfriend, and she's like, it's okay, like, no, it's cool. They're okay, they're okay. And I'm like, who is they? Who is okay? Like, what is going on? It was just really a lot, and I'm already intoxicated. So it was just a lot going on. Like, my focus wasn't really on her, but it was kind of on her, because I'm like, what happened to your friend? Like, where'd she go? Like, where's the rest of the party? Like, where did she go? I really ended up getting close with one of his friends and still to this day like that's my dog he was like oh y'all can come up to my room now I don't really know what how the rooms was set up I don't know if he had a room by himself probably because he was like the only one that's not a couple moral of the story we went back up to <laughs> I was gonna say his name damn <laughs> We went back up to Chip's friend's room, who was my friend to this day. So, <laughs> up to his room. They had another bottle in the room, so we getting lit. They like smoking and stuff. I don't even know if you're supposed to be doing that. You not, but they was doing it, so they like rolling up and like we just chilling. Music is playing. My little supporter, she ends up leaving or whatever, right? Chip ends up coming back. The rest of that night, we're all really just talking. Like me and him wasn't like over each other, nothing like that. Like that was all that really happened that night. We just kind of stayed in, in the hotel room and got a little lit or whatever. And then me and Tammy ends up Ubering back to the house. The whole time on the way back home, I'm telling her like, where the hell you been hiding this friend at? Like, Chip, where he been? Like, why I ain't never heard about him? Girl, you been holding out on me for this long and we have been knowing each other forever? Where have you been keeping this friend and why have I never heard about him? Because at that point, that would've been my husband right now if I would've knew about him when we first met each other. So like, we in the car just talking. I'm like, yeah, he fine as hell. Like, his vibe is lit. Put me on! So she's like, all right, I got you. Da, da, da. Whole time, Tammy knows that this nigga got a girlfriend because she's friends with the girlfriend. The whole time, you guys, and my little old ass is just, ah, he's so cute in my own little bubble. Have no idea. I, I really just didn't have any ideas, right? We get back home and I guess she's like texting him. I Obviously informing him on what I'm saying on the car ride home. He was asking her like she lived by herself. She's like, yeah, this is her apartment. Like, you know, she lived by herself. La la la, right? So he's telling her like, well, ask if it's cool if like me and so and so will pull up. Is that fine? I'm like, yeah, it's cool. Now I'm excited. You want to come to my house? <laughs> I don't want to do that. Shut it. So I guess Tammy had ended up sending my address or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But like I said, we were already drinking before we met up with them and we were drinking a lot with them. So when we Uber back home, I was already lit, y'all. He was like, yeah, I'm gonna pull up in like 40, 45 minutes. When I tell y'all, me and her talked, chatted a little bit and within 45 minutes, we were knocked the hell out. Like we were out. So we wake up the next morning and he actually did ended up driving to my house because she had like missed calls, missed notifications, like I'm here, da da da, like what's up? But like, oh, we was knocked out. And she's like, damn, like they actually pulled up. And now I'm a little upset because I'm like, damn, why you allowed me to go to sleep? Could add him to the roster. He would have been top two for sure. I just be talking, I really just be playing. Am I playing? No, no, I'm dead ass serious. But like, I just be playing most of the time. Like I said, me and Tammy wake up the next morning, we like, damn, we missed all these notifications and phone calls. And like, he came and I was asleep. Ah! Right? He ends up asking me again that morning, like, well, how do you feel about him? Like, what's the vibes? Da, 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 da. And I'm like, you know what? He's really cool. His aura is just like magnetic, bro. Like, that's the only way I can describe this man. I really don't even know how to explain it. It's just like, when I tell y'all that's me, like, that was literally me. The universe has just dropped this man at my doorstep, right? And I was like, that is literally me in a male version. We like this already. Whether you know it or not, we like this in my head. So she was like, how do you feel about him? Like, I'm telling her all of this, like, bro, we are literally the same person. She was like, I know. Like, I've been wanting you guys to meet up for the longest because y'all are literally the same person. But listen, the whole time me and her are talking, I'm sitting down, she's like over in my kitchen. She's like in her phone the whole time. So it's where I'm telling her everything I'm telling y'all and we just going back and forth. And then she looks up at me and she was like, is it cool if I send him your number because he feels the same way? And I was like, <laughs> Wait, what? Like, what do you mean? And she was like, I was just asking him how he feels about you, and he's literally saying the same thing you're saying. Like, y'all fuck with each other. And I'm like, well, yeah, send him my number. Girl, give it to him. Yeah, thank you. You get a number, you get a number, you get a number. Like, are you still talking to me? Like, my number should have been in his phone by now. Whole time, this man has a girlfriend everybody else knows about. But 
me. Like, this shit just wasn't making no sense at all. Well, at that time, I didn't know. But when I found out, I was up. We gonna get to those stories too because y'all don't even understand how upset I was to the point when one of my sisters wanted to fight Tammy ass. It was just a lot, like, like it was a lot because it was very weird. Th that all had happened, right? She had given this man my number. Now he on my phone texting all day. Now he's like, oh, what are you doing tonight? Da -da -da. I'm like, oh, you know, like me, her, and a few of my other friends, like we head into the strip, we about to go to the casino. Y'all, this night was so funny now that I think about it. So Tammy, little man who she was messing with, flew into Vegas, right? It was three of us girls. The friends I was meeting was actually this little man that I was talking to. <laughs> His brother had came into town, so he was meeting us at the strip also to like hang out. And me, Tammy, and our other friend went to the strip. We met up with my little man and his brother or whatever. So we sitting there having a great night, getting drunk, um, gambling, all this and all that, right? Tammy ends up like, okay, I'm gonna go my little man spot or whatever. So she leaves. So now it's just me, my other friend, and these two men, right? I still got chip on my phone, y'all. Still got chip on the phone. Chip, like, what y'all doing? I'm like, yeah, we at the casinos. He's like, oh, like, we on the strip too, blah, blah, blah. Like, let's meet up later. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, right now I'm with this little man. He's like, all right, I got you. I got you. I'll let you know when I leave my friends. I'll let you know, sweetheart. I'm going to let you know because, like I said, you can be top two. I'm going to let you know. Me and my other friend now, now I got to give her a name because now she comes into play. What we gonna call her? Jocelyn. So now it's me and Jocelyn with these two little men. We ended up outside. We're walking the strip, right? I see. <laughs> I see Chip and his friends. They like on the other side of the street and I tap Jocelyn like, fuck, like, there he go, right? She doesn't know Chip at this time, but I'll her up to date on this little man because like I said, I just met my husband last night. Like, <laughs> that's gonna be me right there. So I'm like, bro, that's him. And she's like, no, it's not. I'm like, I'm just gonna act like I don't see him because we was about to cross the street at the same exact time, y'all. I'm with these two other men, and it's two of us, and two of them, so obviously we with them type shit, right? So, <laughs> I had to act like I didn't know who he was. <laughs> we crossed the street, one of these, right? We on the other side of the street. This man, Chip, gonna say, he texted me, and was like, so what you doing? I was like, oh, we on the street, where you at? He was like, I just, <laughs> My ass, I tried to act like I didn't know who he was. He was like, I just seen you. We really just passed you. And I'm like, for real? Where? Like, what? Where are you? I'll meet up with you in a little bit. <laughs> I was playing dumb as hell. All that happened, we said bye to these little men. And now I'm like, Jocelyn, let's go to Chip. And she's like, all right, cool. Mind y'all, the other little men, the one who was there for me, weren't really like dating, none of that. It was like phone conversations here and there. Me and this man, we ain't ever kissed, uh, none of that, right? So it was kind of just like a friend. That was a friend. At that point, that was my friend, so don't even be like, oh, you was blah, blah, blah. No. No, okay, I'm not a fly. <laughs> I'm not a fly. He was just, you know, just somebody to hang out with. So... I had told her like, all right, let's go to Chip. And she's like, all right, bet. Y'all, at this time, it was probably like one-ish in the morning. Me and Jocelyn ended up going and meeting up with them while they were getting food. At this time, it's only the boys that he came with, right? So it's Chip and his other two friends. He left chairs open at the table for us. One of the chairs was right next to him. So obviously, he wanted me to sit next to him. We over here sharing each other food, all this and all that, right? Like I'm telling y'all, it wasn't weird. It's like I knew him. Yeah, so we over here sharing food. The whole night is just kind of like me and him. You know, we, you can tell we feeling each other. So we kind of just like feeling each other out. Getting to know each other. Flirting. Drunk. Like, you can tell we was vibing with each other, right? We met up with him at 1 o'clock. Like, 1-ish in the morning. We ate. Now we're walking to this other hotel. Me and Jocelyn kind of in the back of them while they're walking. And we're kind of like, bro, like... You see what I'm talking about? She's like, bro, that's literally you. Like, everybody just keeps in my head, that's you as a male. Like, that's weird. Like, she's like, I like him. I'm like, me too, girl. Like, that's gonna be me right there. So, like, we just like, you know, doing one of these back and forth, doing one of these back and forth with each other. Um, and then we get into the hotel. His other friend, the boyfriend of the little supporter, ends up leaving. Obviously, to go with his girlfriend, right? Ends up leaving, because like I said, it's getting later in the night ends up leaving. Now it's just me, Jocelyn, Chip, and his other friend. Um, we're kind of just vibing. Like now me and him is kind of like off on our own. Like Jocelyn and his friend kind of getting to know each other. But like me and Chip is more like one of these. And you know how like you be eye 
each other. That's what was going on. I'm not even gonna lie. Like it was a lot of like intense looking into your soul type of vibes. And it was just very like like comfortable and just fun. Like it was the night was just fun. So I guess Chip had parked his car in this parking garage at this hotel. Like I said, they were staying at a different hotel. So he was like, okay, I'm gonna get my car and go back over here. We ended up driving to Jocelyn's car was at a whole different hotel other than the one we were at. And we're like, all right, like we'll drive you to y'all car. Cool. We get in Chip's car. This is where I should have known, like, but he kind of gave off like college frat boy, but he wasn't a frat, but it was like college frat boy, like, ah, oh, rock star, right? So when I got in this man's car, he had a pair of thongs hanging on his rearview mirror. I mean, I thought something of it because I turned to Jocelyn and like, I've never seen this before. You do what you do. I got stuff hanging from my little rearview mirror too. He gives off frat boy lifestyle. So like, if this is what you want to do, like player vibes, go ahead, hang a thong on your rearview mirror. But I really didn't like put two and five together that that's what like you do when you're in a relationship. Like I've never done that. I've never even seen this before. Pointed out to Jocelyn like, who thongs are this? She was like, girl, he seemed like he a little player. So I'm like, he really do. So I guess. Now the thongs hanging on his rearview mirror, I seen it one time. And when I tell y'all next time I got in this man car, thong was gone. Like he ain't never at like, Oh, so many stories. Man's had a drop top. So now we pull out the parking garage, the top come down, I'm like, oh, this nice. <laughs> this a vibe. We pull out the parking garage, and you know, like, when you're not outside in Vegas, they keep very everything very dark. You're not gonna know what time it is. We pull out the parking garage, the sun is up. Like, the sun is up. I look at my phone, it is 11 in the morning. We was with him from 1 a.m. It is 11 in the morning, you guys. a key factor which is why I was really upset when I found out this man had a girlfriend we in the parking garage before we even get in this man car we're in the parking garage I said I'm a Leo and I'm very flirtatious the game I can spit I be spitting that shit I'm a player I am my father's child like what the game I know it. Jocelyn and his other friend near the car just talking. He's like kind of standing back away from me, but we like talking and just like play fighting or whatever. I come close. Now I'm gonna stare you in your eyes because now you playing with me. I want to see and test what you really about, sir. I'm like this close to this man, right? He taller than me, so I'm having to look up. <laughs> so I'm having to look up. <laughs> the vibes was there, eye contact on a thousand, and like we just start making out. Like, <laughs> mind you, everybody else is seeing us. Nobody is saying, oh no, he got a girlfriend. Nothing. He literally just started making out. That's why the thought of like, oh, maybe that's his girlfriend thongs didn't pop up in my mind because you was just in the back of your car, tongue down my throat. <laughs> make it make sense. Like I said, pull out the parking garage now. It is 11 in the morning. 10 hours we done spent with this man and his friends. How, I have no idea. When you're in Vegas, you really lose track of time. Like, time does not exist. Friend is on Instagram. We all in the Instagram, ah, phone going up, right? We're lit, like it is lit. Me and her on our Instagram, putting them on our, like nobody said, oh no. You know when you're not trying to get seen, you be like dodging the camera. He was not dodging nothing. It wasn't like, he really didn't care. <laughs> was smooth he drove us back to um jocelyn's car we get in Jocelyn's car we noticed that jocelyn needs some gas and now we're having to end up going back like low-key following them jocelyn pulls up on the side of them we drive in da -da 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 -da. i'm the passenger he's the driver so when we next to each other it's one of these right we pull up to this red light after we've done kissing and all this and all that yeah we get tmi because now i really don't even care we pull up next to him and he's looking so scrumdily umptious <laughs> You wasn't thirsty of me? No, because he wanted me to. <laughs> we just over here looking out the window. He over here just looking good. And I'm like, so I like mouth the words. I will, the out of you. Like, <laughs> I would really do it, bro. Bold, y'all. When I tell you I'm bold, I'm really bold. And I got alcohol in my system. And I like you. Like, oh, I'm bold as hell. He like, take baby, like, yeah. Then he texts my phone. The energy is matched. The energy was matched, y'all, because he texted my phone. Crazy. Then we just parted ways and drove off to the gas station and all this and all that. But it was very much so that was a real deep moment for us when we were side by side in that car. It really impacted him and he talked about it for a very long time. He was like, you are very bold and I love that. I'm gonna just leave this story here because I've been talking for a long time. I'm really tired. I'm gonna leave it here. Like I said, there will be more stories about Chip, the introduction of him, which I should have did 
before the other video. And if you don't know what the other video is and you want to hear more, go watch the video titled like, um, his girlfriend joined the FaceTime call or something like that. That's how I met Chip. That was our little weekend in Vegas. He talked every single day on the phone from that first time Tammy gave him my phone number. He was on my phone. How the girlfriend knew it was Deja from Vegas. This is the time she was talking about because that's the only time she's ever seen me. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like I said, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out a lot, a lot, a lot. Want to hear more about this Chip character because Chip was chipping in my life. Like I said, the next story time will most likely be on how I found out he had a girlfriend and all this and all that because that was crazy too. Just every story has been crazy with this man. I'll give you point A to point B, how we met each other and what led to everything else, okay? Man, this far you're not yet subscribed, why? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts, they are down below. And on that note, bye!